This new $250 million Maryland Strong Economic Recovery Initiative will be critical to the thousands of struggling restaurants, small businesses, and main streets across the state. Well, you heard it there. Governor Hogan announces a new multi-million dollar lifeline for struggling businesses in our state. Hello, everybody. I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Rick Ritter. This announcement comes as the governor urges the entire state to move into phase three of reopening because right now some counties in Baltimore City still have tighter restrictions in place. Now, coronavirus cases in our state are nearing 138,000. However, hospitalizations and the positivity rate are down slightly. All right, let's get over to WJZ investigator Mike Halgren who is live tonight with the new information from Governor Hogan. Mike. Rick Denise, the governor had been under pressure to release this money from the rainy day fund. The comptroller yesterday begged him to and says some 30,000 businesses in the state have already gone under. Now, this cash would come uh, be distributed by local jurisdictions like Baltimore City and the counties, and the governor mandates that it be doled out before the end of the year. It's not going to solve all of their problems, but it can help them stay alive until we get the vaccine. Governor Larry Hogan says he's taking $250 million from Maryland's Rainy Day Fund to help struggling businesses. Many businesses, uh, some, especially some of the ones that we talked about trying to address, are hanging on by a threat, and uh, they may not make it another month or two. $50 million will go directly to restaurants, providing assistance for personal protective equipment, rent, and payroll, among other expenses. About 15, 20 minutes. The owner of Baltimore's no, iconic Sip and Bite right Diner told WJZ about the struggle for many restaurateurs and small business owners. And when the first stimulus check came out, you saw like more people were traveling. People were, I saw, we saw it here, more people were eating out. And I'm, you know, stimulus money I'm, has run out, obviously, because things have started to slow down again. So anything that can help the regular working class would be ideal. She says it's been difficult because some local jurisdictions like Baltimore City have not opened up as much as the state allows. We need to open up, Governor Hogan, please. And Jack Young, open us up. Hogan urged the city and every county to move fully into stage three reopenings and get rid of added restrictions. No, we don't want to take away their authority, but we continue to encourage them because it's hurting our business community. On the health front, Hogan says the state is monitoring a slight increase in hospitalizations, but he maintains Maryland is doing better than most states. He cautioned against family gatherings, which he says, according to contact tracing reports, are behind most of the new cases here. We need to recommit to the simple actions that can keep our families and our neighbors safe. And the governor says it's important to guard against COVID fatigue. He says this pandemic is still very much with us, and he urged everyone to wear their masks. Reporting live, Mike Helgren, WJZ.